I want a close size makeup and I'm gonna do a pink and orange sunset makeup store for it started. I did my brows, did the moisturizer, my left eye off camera, all the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's just a list concern. This has been requested by one of you guys, whoever sent this request. Thank you very much. This color combo is very pretty. It kind of reminds me of the viral sunset blush trend. I might as well do that in the future. Well, it is very beautiful. And I don't know if the orange is making my blue eyes pop. It's very beautiful. Onto the makeup. For a primer, I took Tarte K1 No No Gel. And I went for a stretch for getting doing my left eye. The palette that I'm using is Beauty Glaze Color Studio Palette. I'm taking the hot pink, the bright orange, sort of like a lighter or darker orange, and the lighter pink from this palette. The brushes I'm using are two from Best Taupe, a crease brush, a large lash line brush, one e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and one equal tools full blush brush. Okay. For the crease, I'm taking a hot pink. The brush I'm using is this Best Taupe Precision Crease Brush. Any hot pink will do at home. This looks good. If you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie and I've been doing makeup videos for four years now. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, that pigment? I'm going to blend it. The car is beating out without my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. It looks good on my left eye. So is my right eye. After I'm done filming this makeup tutorial, I'm gonna take coconut oil to remove the eye look. I don't know if it might seem bright. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a bright orange. The brush I'm using is the best Chope Small Hour brush to get in there precisely. I know where my lower lash line is, is where my lower lashes is. I try to follow them. I start towards the outer corner. And then I sweep it towards the inner part of my eye. Okay. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. I think that looks good. No waterline today. Well, I don't know if I could find a pink or an orange eyeliner but it's totally fine for the outer part of my eyelid I'm taking sort of like this lighter or darker orange it kind of looks like a pumpkin orange to me the brush I'm using is the elf eyeshadow brush I've been using this eyeshadow brush since 2018 and it does a good job it shed a few hairs here and there but it does a beautiful job of applying eyeshadow to the lid. It's a matte, so I'm using a brush. And then for the shimmers, use your fingers. For the inner part of my lid, I'm taking the shimmery pink. Oh yeah, it's coming really together. It looks good. For an inner corner, I'm taking Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlight, the middle rose gold shade. I get plus mascara to this eye, and I get to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. For blush, I'm taking the Essence Mosaic Blush, and all you need is pink. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools Full Blush Brush. I'm going to start on my apple of my cheek, and then sweep upwards towards my temple. That looks good should I do like 
the Sunset Blush trend in 2025 next year? Well, it's totally up to you, like, for the requests. Unfortunately, I don't have liquid blush, but I do have powder blush because I have oily skin. Well, on the makeup shopping list, liquid blush is a must. I can see that hint of rosiness on my cheeks. To hide the rest of my face, I'm taking Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlighter, the rose gold shade that I use for my inner corners. I'm going to start on my nose. The normal places that I highlight, I cannot live without highlighter. It is the icing on the cake for me. Did you know that rose gold is a mix of pink and gold? It is so beautiful. And this is powder, by the way. As I turn my head to light, you can really see that sheen. It is a rainy day in London. I have my makeup mirror lights on. For lip prep, I took Taste Beauty Pop Tarts Cherry Lip Balm. This might have like a little bit of a pink tint to it. And we're all with some toilet paper, so they look nice and hydrated. Chap lips are not cute. And the Pop Tarts Lip Balm bomb set was gifted by my twin brother Evan. For pink lipstick, I'm taking Elf Sheer Slick in Grapefruit. No lip liner. I might be done with it. Oh yeah. That's a beautiful shade of summery pink. I don't know if Dollar Tree Canada still carries, like, the Elf Sheer Slick lipsticks or not. Here is the completed pink and orange sunset makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. Thank you for whoever sent this request in. It is very beautiful. So, stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye!